The Russell Alexander Alger Memorial Fountain, located in Grand Circus Park near the intersection of East Adams and Woodward Avenue. Sculptor, Daniel Chester French. Materials, bronze and granite. Date of installation, 1921. Russell Alger was born near Medina, Ohio on February 27, 1836. He was orphaned at the age of 12, then spent seven years as a farmhand while also completing his education. He studied law in Akron, Ohio and at Hillsdale College in Michigan and was admitted to the Ohio Bar in 1859 after several years of teaching school. In 1860, he moved to Grand Rapids but joined the Union Army the next year, serving with General Phil Sheridan for much of the war. He fought in 66 battles of skirmishes and rose to the rank of Brevetted Brigadier General. When he returned to Michigan, he moved to Detroit and entered the lumber business. Eventually, he began to purchase northern Michigan pine forests for their timber. His firm eventually controlled more than 100,000 acres close to Lake Huron. Due to difficult moving conditions caused primarily by Michigan swamplands of the time, Alger helped to develop narrow gauge rail lines that could easily be put in place and then ripped up after the timber was cut. This system depended upon the innovation in Michigan of the Shea steam engine, one that could operate on lightly constructed rail that was strong enough to draw several heavy cars of logs. Alger became extremely prosperous and by the 1880s played a key role in the finances and leadership of the Michigan Republican Party. He was the successful candidate for governor in the 1884 election. His contributions and efforts extended to the National Republican Party and in 1895, President McKinley selected him to serve as Secretary of War during this key period surrounding the war with Spain. Alger's superintendent sending troops to maintain U.S. control of Cuba, Puerto Rico, and the Philippines after the Spanish surrendered. However, Alger was criticized for his poor financial management of the Department of War, so President McKinley replaced him in 1899. Alger returned to Detroit and in 1902 was appointed to the United States Senate by the state legislature, where he served until his death in 1907. His son, who inherited much of his fortune, built the magnificent Russell A. Alger Lakefront Home at 32 Lakeshore Drive in Gross Point Farms that now serves as the Gross Point War Memorial. The strikingly attractive Alger Memorial Fountain in Grand Circus Park was designed by one of the nation's leading sculptors of that era, Daniel Chester French. The pedestal shows Alger surrounded by laurel. Then there is the beautiful classical style statue representing the state of Michigan that Alger served for more than 20 years. She wears a crown of laurel. Her right arm is firmly raised in greeting, but her left hand holds both a sword and shield that displays the great seal of the state of Michigan. The sculptor uses a very attractive and classical depiction of a woman to represent Michigan. The sculptor, Daniel French, is perhaps best known for his collaboration with Henry Bacon on the design of the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C.